My dear brothers and sisters, I wish to welcome you to the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In our first reading today, Prophet Jeremiah reminds us of God's consent for his people as our shepherd. In our second reading, St. Paul also reminds us that through Jesus, we have received reconciliation with God or in God. And in the Gospel, we see clearly that Jesus cares about us. When his apostles and disciples came back, he asked them to take some rest, to eat something. And of course, people followed him and he looked at them with compassion and he pitied them because they were like a sheep without a shepherd. My dear brothers and sisters, it looks like the whole of our readings today speak to us about God as our shepherd. Sometimes we may experience trials and crises and challenges. We think that God does not care about us, but He does. God may be in heaven, but He is also present among us because God is transcendent and also immanent. Who is our shepherd? Our shepherd is God. Our shepherd is our Father. Our shepherd is merciful. Our shepherd is good. Our shepherd is faithful. Our shepherd knows us individually and personally. And that's what we see in the first reading. God is our shepherd and he is always ready to replace anyone who is not doing well among us. God is always ready to come to our aid. God is concerned about our struggles, our challenges, our failures, our desires, our yearnings, our longings. God is always concerned. God is interested in your situation. God is interested in your condition. Whatever you're going through in your family, in your life, God is interested in you. And to show how interested God is, He sent His only begotten Son, our Emmanuel, the God who is among us. It's important to remember this, dear brothers and sisters, that Jesus is our shepherd. And you can see how beautiful St. Paul puts it and how we see the action of Jesus in the Gospel today. Many of us are confused. Many of us are hungry. Many of us are exposed to dangers. But always remember Psalm 23, our psalm today. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. I'd like to mention three or four important things about the shepherd. The first one is that our shepherd is Jesus and he is our guide. Life is a journey. Sometimes we miss our way because of sin. Sometimes we miss our way because of confusion. But always remember to go back to Jesus, to call on Jesus, because He alone can guide us to the right path. The road that leads to joy, the path that leads to happiness, the path that leads to salvation, the path that leads to comfort, He alone can guide us to the right path. Even in our relationships, even in our families, even in our businesses, in everything that we do, it's always good to allow Jesus, our shepherd, to guide us. He has the perfect compass. He has the perfect map of your life, of my life. If you follow him, you will never go astray because he is the way, the truth, and the life. So allow Jesus to guide you. Life can be so confusing sometimes, but if we allow Jesus to guide us, we will surely arrive in our destination. The second function, dear brothers and sisters, is that Jesus feeds us. We are hungry. Remember, all of us, we have two natures, our body and our soul. We are composite. Sometimes our soul, you know, longs for the Lord. No matter what you eat, no matter what you drink, you can never be satisfied. There's only one person who can satisfy your soul and my soul, and that is Jesus. And that's why Jesus feeds us every day through His Word. He feeds us through the sacraments, through the Eucharist. He nourishes us because life, as I said, is a journey. And sometimes we are so hungry. We hunger in our body. We also hunger in our soul. 
And the only one who can satisfy us is Jesus. The third point is that Jesus is our protector. Just like the sheep without the shepherd, it's very dangerous. Life can be so dangerous. Life can be so slippery. Life can be so precarious. Life can be so unpredictable. But I tell you one thing, that if we allow Jesus to lead us, we allow Jesus to feed us, we allow Jesus to protect us, nobody can injure us. Nobody can destroy us. Why? Because Jesus is our protector. It's important, dear brothers and sisters, that we don't hope on anyone else because human beings can disappoint us. But if we entrust ourselves into the hands of Jesus, He will protect us. He is our protector in the morning, until night, and every day of our life, Jesus alone can be our protector. He protects us in different ways. By nourishing us, that's a sort of protection. By empowering us with His grace, that's a sort of protection. So as we reflect on this Sunday, dear brothers and sisters, it's important to remind ourselves, especially parents, children, uh, people who are occupying political positions, let us ask ourselves this question. Am I a good shepherd to the people entrusted to my care? How do I take care of those who have been entrusted to me? As parents, do you unite your children? I mentioned in the Mass this morning that it is wrong for a parent to say, this is my favorite child. You have five children. You should not make other four to think that you love one more than them. You'll be dividing your family. Our second reading today reminds us that our shepherd unites us, the Jews and the non-Jews. Jesus is here to unite us. And as parents, as children, as politicians, occupying political positions, and religious leaders also, we should learn to make statements and comments. And we should learn also that our comments should unite people, not divide them. So let us pray on this day, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Sunday, that we may become the shepherd of one another. Let us lead other people to the right path through our words and actions. Let us protect other people. Let us nourish them by our good actions. And let us always remember to guide them to the right path. I will tell God about you.